Hi, this is Rich from the Elkhorn Light Show. Today we're going to talk about making a crossover cable to connect your LOR dongle to your DMX device. And uh, in this case I have a 27 channel controller for my RGB lights. Um, keep in mind that this cable will only work one way. So you have to have the one side connected to the LOR side and the other to the DMX side. If you switch them around, it won't work properly. You can buy dongles that are pre-made. They they run about thirty to fifty dollars, depending on where you buy them from. Uh, but we can use just a Cat5 cable to make our own. So what you do is you cut your Cat5 cable wherever you want, and then here's the configuration. You want it on the DMX side, the controller side. Take the orange and white wire and go to the blue wire, solid blue wire on the LOR side. Take your solid orange from the DMX side over to your blue and white wire on the LOR side. And finally take the brown and white wire on the DMX side and go to your solid green on your LOR side. You'll have some extra cables but um, I spliced and uh, connected together the green and white wires you'll need those and then the the brown wire solid brown on both sides go together the rest of these cables you can just um, fold back and tape or whatever you want to do so now I have my crossover cable made I'm going to plug the DMX side into my DMX controller you'll see that I have right now a solid red light on this particular controller and when I s plug in my crossover cable I have a blinking red light which indicates I have a DMX signal and in X lights I have a test mode on the RGB lights and there you have it 